Okay, you're just through the professor, Dr. Dr. Gippen. You know, I know of a certain professor who taught me uh, chemistry 103 at the time at City College and doctored me back during the 1980s or 90s, I believe, uh, during a telephone conversation. This was a professor, uh, I think he has a vision to have done that from way back then. Uh, I scored an A in his class, uh, anyhow, but I was just requesting my grades. And he said that during a telephone conversation, communication with him. All right, so here we are. We are doing uh, that. And for Chemist 103, I've, I've, seen the, I've taken out uh, the, uh, the element uh, at that time, which is a uh, representative uh, the Lorentzium, which is the element with 103 atomic number. Also for 108, uh, I think that's Asium, uh, those two courses. But let's get going. And when a small uh, amount of uranium is eaten over and over again, many million times, then that's when we could have the, the nuclear reaction. I mean, when a small amount of uranium is eaten, not just superficially, put it in the fire, but it's eaten over and over millions and millions of times. Now, that's when you have the, po the, the potential for a nuclear reaction here with the uranium. Millions of times. A very large amount of heat is produced from the relative very small amount of uranium. It is this principle of burning uranium uh, in a nuclear reactor that heat is produced to produce steam and to produce electricity. Now it might be possible for uh, a subcritical mass of uranium when immersed in water to become supercritical or superficial or supercritical rather. And some of the, the uranium emitted neutrons may be reflected back to the uranium uh, which could then uh, lead to a critical accident. Via a large amount of ionization, radiation, energy emitted and possibly uh, an explosion resultation. Now when exposed to here, uranium will corrode and form a, a, a layer of uranium oxide, U2, sometimes called uranium dioxide, uranium oxide, and on its surface, the uranium turns to liquid at a temperature of 1,000 135 degrees centigrade or uh, or the interval of 1135 degrees to 4130 degrees centigrade I guess this would be the where in that interval it melts and become a liquid at sea level uh, pressure now, extreme caution should be taken though in liquefying uranium and it will, if in the presence of oxygen, you could uh, ignite an explosion called the uranium will form, you know, uh, react with oxygen and hydrogen. But with oxygen, it could cause an explosion at that temperature, the liquid uranium. So you have to be caught very, uh, take extreme caution. Now, in the presence of much oxygen at high temperature, uranium will react with the oxygen and explode in fire. Now U-235 constitute 0.72% by abundance of all naturally occurring uranium. Most naturally occurring uranium is uranium-238 and it has a half-life of about 704 million years decaying to thorium 
thorium-231 with the, radi with the uh, radioactive chain eventually leading to lead-207, stable isotope. So here we have uranium going to thorium and then uh, leading to a stable lead-207 during this radioactive chain reaction. Now what uh, caused uranium-235 to explode? When uh, uranium-235 uh, atom absorb a neutron, absorb a neutron and uh, fission into two uh, two new atoms. It releases uh, uh, three new neutrons and some binding energy. So the other bit when uh, uh, the U235 atom absorb a neutron, you know, and uh, the neutron is directed at it, but bombarded at it, and the U3 atom absorb it, and the fission process take place, and two new atoms is formed, and it uh, releases the, the two new neutrons and some binding energy. We're going into the principle of nuclear reaction here. Now, uranium-238 is the most uh, abundant uh, uranium found. Uh, it's the most stable, 99% in abundance, and occurring isotope uh, of, of uranium. It is most stable and does not fission on a thermal nuclear reaction reactor. Now let's look at some nuclear reaction here. We have three uranium solid <clears throat> plus two hydrogen ion aqua uh, aqueous and two H2O liquid will leave you now uranium oxide two plus and three hydrogen gas and uranium six uranium-6, UVI. Now the important oxidation state of uranium is uranium-4+, and as, as in the uranium oxide. The tetraalide, such as uranium uh, Four, what is this? Uranium tetraelide, uranium four elide, and uh, the green oxygen ion, uranium four plus, and uranium six plus, as in the oxide, uranium trioxide, or the uranium hexafluoride, which is UF6, which and the yellow uranium ion UO2 2 plus. So that's a lot of information there in that just uh, short period of time. You have the uranium 4 plus there and the uranium 6 plus, as in the oxide uranium UO3, I'm talking about uranium trioxide, and the hexafluoride, uranium hexafluoride, which is UF6, and the yellow. Uranium ion, UO2, 2 plus ion. Now, nuclear reaction of uranium. The reaction releases uh, three neutrons and a great deal of energy. It can be represented by the number, uh, by the numbered equation. 92, that is uranium 92, 235 U, plus one neutron, 
you know 3692 Krypton plus 56141 Barum plus 3 neutrons plus energy. So that's the nuclear reaction of uranium there releasing uh, 3692 Krypton and 56141 Barum plus 3 neutrons plus energy. And we can also write that uh, nuclear reaction as N plus plus 235-92 uranium. That is uranium-235, but it's written N neutron, one neutron plus 235 of 92 uranium, yielding now 14256 barium and 9136 krypton plus 3 neutron. And then again, we could have neutron plus 92. 235 uranium yielding 56 142 barium plus 3691 krypton plus 3 neutron. That's a nuclear reaction there. And in order not to saturate this uh, thing, we'll take a, a little break here and we will return with our uranium and your nuclear reaction, uranium 92. And atomic uh, weight of the most stable and abundant isotope of uranium 23813. And we are going to Krypton, our radon rather, and barium, barium, and radon. Radon turns up in the electronic configuration and krypton uh, barium turns up in the nuclear reaction and radon turns up in the electronic configuration. Also krypton turns up in the uh, nuclear reaction. We'll look up at another time. So let's take a break and then we'll return to some more uranium.